Reaching out to everyone here for a truly meaningful cause. This video is not sponsored, but Kendall's Uncle Rick wants to honor our fallen heroes. He's on a mission to put reefs on every service member's tombstone during Christmas at Fort Mitchell National Cemetery, where his dad, Kendall's grandpa, is buried. Rick's been doing an amazing job over the years, but there's so many service members that he falls a bit short. Let's team up with Rick and Reefs Across America to ensure every service member gets a special tribute during the holidays. Click the link in the description to give what you can. I'll follow up in a few weeks to share how much of an impact we have all made. Also, if you donate, please leave a comment below. Let's acknowledge the amazing community coming together to make Rick's dream and the mission of Reefs Across America happen. We can make sure every resting service member gets the tribute they deserve and it would mean the world to us. shotgun it's a pellet gun <laughs> oh my God. that looks real though huh yeah. i mean it's a gun that's still really cool but a pellet gun <laughs> that's still really neat i was like oh wow there's yeah, a shotgun there there. <laughs> so cool i mean still an amazing find but it is a pellet gun pretty cool though yeah. sweet i mean maybe it's best that it's not a murder weapon <laughs> all right let's go find a murder weapon It's so funny scanning this area with a shotgun. <laughs> hey, you want my light? Do you want to search deeper? I'm totally good. Yeah? I can see pretty well. All right, sweet. Are you going deep? Huh? Do you want to? No, I'm saying, are you? Uh, I can, but I'm not going alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't either. Uh, I should keep searching the shallows then, man. Maybe I haven't checked it out. <laughs> this is where we started. Okay. I'll put the shotgun here. And let's get in there and check it out. Your area, it could be some bigger catfish or gators. So just be careful. <laughs> let's go. Um, let's run the uh, let's run the shallow as much, and then we'll hit the deep end when we back. Thank <laughs> you. 
Catfish is big. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that was a big <laughs> boy. <laughs> That's a big so you ever seen. I was like, Chris, you see him. <laughs> Oh! 
Someone throw that down there. A Dell computer. That's a bad stuff on <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's take it right here. Alright, let's go back down there. Dude, this is crazy. So uh -huh. much stuff is down there. Uh -huh. I'm getting I'm getting stuck in fishing line. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Chris just found his laptop. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Just found a TV. What else can we find? <laughs> So we just came down here and Jake noticed a bunch of bones laying right here. We're trying to be very, very careful. To me, they look like they could be human bones, but we need to find a few more to be sure. People don't just throw those away for no reason. Like someone wanted to get rid of this, they wanted to hide it. I mean, yeah, look at that. It's pretty weird. It's pretty weird. It even looks like it's wrapped with, that's like wrapped with something weird. Is that like an ace bandage or some sort of, sort of like, it's a weird material. I don't know, that's sketchy. I definitely saw from right, right where that bone came from. I definitely saw tiny fragments. Is that bone? No, I don't think yeah. so. Uh, yeah, that's bone. Uh, dude, is that part of a, I think that So we think this is a skull. Uh, I think I think it could be. Wow. And then the other bone could be joint to an elbow. I think I think it could be. I think it's an ulna. That's the forearm. So what are the the two bones that go right here? Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There's a bone fragment right there. Yep, 100% bone. All right. That's an, that's another piece right there. Yeah. Another piece. We got a lot right there. Why is there why is it more than one piece right here? Watch your yeah. Oh. Oh, that's crazy. That little spot right there, that's a tiny fragment of bone, probably going with the rest of the ones we're finding. Here you go. This is a 3D image of a human ulna and it matches up perfectly. This is definitely human. We just want to find all the stuff right here because this water right here could rise at any point and wash away everything that's sitting right here. If this does turn out to be human, I mean, this could bring closure to a family. These are all the bones we found after diving sitting on the bank. Now the water was rising. We didn't want to leave it there and have all this stuff washed away. At first we thought these probably were going to be animal bones, but on further examination, we have a strong belief that this right here, these are human remains. So when Jake took me out in the river today, I thought we might find some GoPros, maybe a phone, some fishing lures. I had no idea, not in my wildest dreams, that I think that we might find human remains, potentially a missing persons, and that we could be involved in helping to bring closure to a family who has a missing loved one. These are two femur bones, one with a healed injury right there, and they're very consistent with human size wise, shape, the ridges, all that's very consistent with human. Humerus bones right here, also mirrored left and right. So we're looking at bones of one individual and this goes into there. That's an elbow that you're looking at right there. If you come over here, we have a part of a skull, large, very round, a large brain was inside there. So we're looking at something also consistent with human and this right here this saw was just two three feet away from all the bones now we noticed on the humerus bone over here i believe it was this one that could be cut marks it's a little hard to tell because it's somewhat eroded i think it's going to take professionals looking at this obviously but if that saw marks this could very well be connected that's a confirmed human skull right there and if you look at that hole right there this seems to have the same thing that's an ear it's very, very similar. Even that bump right there is also over there. So on the screen right here, we have a confirmed human femur. And in my hand, this bone that we found, if you look at the ridge, it's near identical to the 3D scan of the human femur. It has an identical ridge on it. On the screen right there, that is a human ulna bone right there. And in my hand is the bone that we found now it's missing a little bit right here. That kind of happens as bones dry out, but I think that's pretty much a near identical match. There's potentially saw marks all over these bones. We did not notice that at first. There's more right there. And we even have more on that one right there. So somebody was cutting this stuff up. I mean, I think it's very likely that this was used to dismember these limbs, which is absolutely a terrifying thought. Because we didn't find any evidence of teeth, hands, feet, or torso bones, it's likely or possible that this was a dump of only the limbs and part of the skull and someone had disposed of the rest of the body in a different location. So after determining that this stuff is likely human, we tried to treat it with as much respect as possible, called in law enforcement, now it's time for them to do their thing. Uh, this is not an emergency. My friend and I were diving in the river and we found bones. My friend's a paleontologist and we believe they may be human bones and uh, I'd like to hand it over if possible. There's no flesh or anything, it's just bones. Well, that's good. Yeah. Uh, I, guess, I guess. That would be much worse. Do you do this often in the river? Oh, yes, ma'am. I've called a handful of times about, like, weapons we find and stuff like that. It's literally like the perfect spot. It's weird to walk out there. It's 
and then there's a... And it's like someone just talks. They literally, from where the bones were, you can look that, and then just over there with people. I've got some gloves if you want some. You guys back up. If this is a, yeah, y'all yeah, back up. Yep. Okay. You want some gloves? Where did you Charlie, find them? No, we're not touching it. We're going to, I'll call the coroner out. Okay. Once we determine, where did you find it? But there's a little fishing spot and mm -hmm. it looks like someone may have dropped this, uh, what we think is a person over the edge, but the water was rising when we saw it. So we collected what we saw we, and we didn't see any other bones while we were diving and we handled it with as much care and as, as respect as possible. My friend's a paleontologist here and he was able to Kind of identify these bones as good as possible. Well, at, fir at first we thought, yeah, some animal bones, you know, mm -hmm. just like typical. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, after after picking some of this stuff up and taking a yeah. look at photos online, we were like, wait a minute, we gotta call you guys. What you're looking at right here would be legs, arms, and a skull and little pieces. Well, we think it's human. I mean, are any yeah. of you <laughs> medically? I mean, they're paleo not trained for but human, but it's, it's human. very we, clearly there's two right. femurs. Yeah. So, right, but we, we can't with 100% positive, mm -hmm. you know, say that it is. That's why we're getting the corner out. Here. That's yeah, okay. That's, Understandable. that's not my wheelhouse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> that's his wheelhouse. Well, like, but we are going to take all your information just to document mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. that you, when you found it, where you found it, and what you did to it, and when you found it. Okay. And we recorded everything too, so you guys can have everything. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. Zakia, come up here and take a look. Don't touch it. No. <laughs> Wanted to come take a look. Who are the divers? Me. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm Chris. So are you one that has like a YouTube channel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> well, you are a detective. What do you think? Do not even go there, Ben. There you go. Okay. That ain't my wheelhouse. Well, that's an old timey blade, that's for sure. We've got some pictures for reference. This is supposed to be the purse he said that they found with the blade and the bones. To give you a rundown, all this is like pretty much in one spot. Don't Where's the spot a, at? Uh, I can give you a pin on Google Maps. Yeah, that'll that'll work. Yeah, and I gave it to her already. So, um, you, actually, if you want to text it to me, that'd be great. Well, oh. that's definitely a skull bone. It'd be a small person. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what we were thinking. But that's definitely a skull bone. So, these right here are questionable just because of the bend. That bend, like if there was a break in the bone earlier in life and mm -hmm. it was repaired, like there was some kind of yeah. callus that forms. Healing process. Yeah, healing yeah. process. So that would be like a bone callus. Are you talking about this right here on the left? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what we thought too. Yeah, like it a bone like callus. It grew a little bit. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. um, that's from a fracture. So let's do this. Since, since it's already been moved, I thought we were going to, to a hole. Mm -hmm. Let's um, Let's lay this out next to it. Okay. That way I can... And I don't know if that's the person. I, I don't. Right I don't either. But if it was in the same general area, yeah. it's considered part of it. So. And just for reference, I did didn't have a bag, so I did put all the bones inside that person. You did. Did. Okay. I just put them in there. All right. So you might find little pieces in there. It appears to be a homicide spot. Now that the it could, the, be, the, the, it could be a hundred years old. Yeah. It could be. It could be like from 1900. We don't know. You know, but somebody did something that put those bones there, so it's up to the detectives to figure that out. So, um, I'm going to take pictures, and then I'll take these off your hands. Okay. And then here's your three bags. So. Well, that's a 22 case. I don't know if that's related, but yeah, and it's unfortunate there's no holes in the bones. I was looking at that one right there. That's not normal for that part of the skull. No, well. Robbie wants to take a look at that. Maybe I spoke too soon. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not as good with uh, those kind of wounds as Robbie is. So, I mean, I'm still. I made an 86 on my test. <laughs> I passed it, but I missed long range.
So are you the YouTube guy? Oh, uh, yes, sir. That's what Lieutenant Losey said. He said, I think that's the YouTube guy. Yeah, yeah, we're always out there diving, looking for stuff. Yeah, I am isolating the bones from the other pieces of evidence. So what we have here is bones in one bag, which I'll reconstruct the picture once I get back to the morgue. Then I have the rounds in one another envelope. And now I'm going to separate the saw blade and the purse because they are two unlike items and they might need to be analyzed separately. You said there was something in the purse? Or you, no, did, or you I used it to bring the I bone? Use it, yeah. Okay. That is an old timey purse. But every little bit of evidence helps. And there's a lot of missing person cases. We saw that. We that. There's a lot of missing person cases. So we okay. always try to identify as much as we can. I'm going to reconstruct it at the morgue. I appreciate y'all's help. Thank you. If you got if you got anything else, you know, let me know. Shortly after handing the bones over to the police, I got a phone call and they were confirmed to be 100% human. This is the first time I've actually found human bones in the river that were confirmed. Hopefully by finding these bones and turning them into the police, we can bring some type of closure to the family members involved and hopefully identify this missing person that could have been possibly murdered.